So I think all three stories were so different and they all had such amazing lessons from all different industries and walks of life. But I feel like this slide sort of really sums up the evening. And it's really that failure is truly a state of mind. And really the people who are successful, the companies that succeed, um, the entrepreneurs or professionals in the top of their field, they really have a growth mindset when it comes to failure. So they see failure as an opportunity to grow. They see challenges as something that helped them grow. Um, they really see the feedback that comes from failure as something that's constructive and that's useful. And I think that people that really get down on their failures are people that sort of see failure as the limit of their abilities and people who kind of can't separate the failure from themselves, like really getting their ego so tied up with the business or whatever job it was and not being able to split the two. So I think if you take anything away from tonight or if you're looking for a way to sort of sum up your learnings, I feel like this is really it. It's all about having that growth mindset around failure and really taking away from all of these stories tonight and thinking back through your own failures or fuck ups that you might have had that it's all about what learnings you took from them and how you can push yourself forward um, to overcome those fuck ups and succeed in the future. So before we wrap up tonight and before we get to Matt's song, I just wanna say again that I think the best part of this community and these events are the people that are here. So to make it a little bit easier to network at the end of this night, we're gonna do another little icebreaker. So we're gonna do a series of stand up ifs and for some of these, you'll see they'll overlap, so feel free to, see, to stay standing. So let's start off by standing up if you are a full-time entrepreneur. Very cool. Stand up if you are a part-time entrepreneur. Nice. Stand up if you work for a startup. Stand up if you work in corporate. <laughs> uh, corporate can be cool too, come on. Stand up if you work in government or public service. Wow, okay, we have a few in the room tonight, that's awesome. Stand up if you work in a field that you did not study. <laughs> Love it, that's awesome. Stand up if you're retired. Okay. <laughs> yes. You still have that growth mindset, that's awesome. Stand up if you are a student. I feel like everybody should be standing up for this, right? We're all students, we're all learning, especially from our fuck ups. And stand up if you're figuring out your next steps. <laughs> okay, so this, I love seeing this because you are in the perfect place for this. With this community, we've had so many amazing success stories that we've heard. We've had people find their next job. We've had people find their co-founder, go figure at an event all about fucking up. You're taking that leap to start a business with somebody that you met in this room. Uh, we've had people meet friends. Uh, we even have a fuck up nights couple. Uh, so you never know, <laughs> Matt is single. <laughs> I think that's been mentioned a few times. So really take the time to get to know everybody that's here in this community. It truly is the best part of the event. So let's call Jeff back up here to say thank you to our partners. Okay, we're, I will thank them again. This is our first time co-hosting together. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to our amazing partners here tonight that made this event and community possible. So again, Workhouse, thank you for hosting us in your beautiful space. BDC, thank you so much for your support for uh, making this possible. Waterloo Brewing, thank you for the amazing beer and make sure that you try it. There's a bunch of different varieties. It's included in your ticket. So I hope to see everybody drinking more beer at the end. And Token Creative Services, thank you so much for getting tonight on video so we can watch these fuck ups again. <laughs> now, more than even the partners, I really wanna thank our amazing team of volunteers that brings this event to life every month. So can I get all the volunteers to come up and join me here? Amazing. 
Um, well, thank you so much, everyone, everybody on this team. Thank you so much for being here tonight and being so involved in the planning process. Um, this event really wouldn't be possible without you. Also, on the more personal side of things, um, I wanted to take this opportunity to announce that after a year of building Fuck Up Nights KW and being so proud to be the person to launch it here in this region, um, I'm actually announcing that I'm stepping away from running Fuck Up Nights KW. I'm gonna be focusing just on Fuck Up Nights Toronto and a new business that I'm planning to launch. Could be a fuck up, I don't know. <laughs> but I am so proud of what we've been able to do here in just a year. And I'm so excited to hand the reins over to this amazing team, to hand it over to the king of fuck ups right here with Jeff taking the lead. <laughs> What could go wrong? And this amazing team here, I, I mean, this team here, they're local in the region, they live and breathe it. I feel like I come in here every month from, from somewhere far away and I've gotten to know the region so well and I absolutely love it, but I'm so excited for it to truly be a local um, community now. So thank you so much, everybody, for your support. You're gonna see me in the audience in future events, but it's my last time hosting this, so it's a little bit bittersweet, but. I'm super excited for what's to come for this community and for these events. There's really big, exciting things coming. So with that, I just want to thank everybody for coming tonight and for supporting us for the last year being in this region. And uh, I really hope that tonight you're inspired to look at failure a little bit differently, maybe to ask each other about some bold fuck-ups that you've had and just be open with sharing them because you're in a room full of fuck-ups and everybody here is awesome and open. And with that, I'm going to hand it back over to Jeff. And I think he's gonna announce Matt to do a little song for us. <laughs> Thank you.